See, I got a frying pan going on. Now, I'm making some stir fried chicken today. And uh, you see this right here? Oh, yeah, this is Szechuan sauce. As you see right here, it's gluten free. And that's what I used to marinate uh, my chicken. I'm making stir fried chicken. Now, I bought some um, vegetables from Kroger, stir fried vegetables. And uh, that's what I'll be using. I got this from Kroger. And that's what I'll be using. Um, and the Kroger is a grocery store out here in Georgia. That's what I'll be using to my, um, you know, to add some vegetables to my uh, chicken for my stir fry. Now, I'll be using this cooking spray, canola oil cooking spray. I couldn't find an olive oil one, but nonetheless, this is good. And I'll be using that to, um, you know, to hook up my pan. Hook up, you know, I'll be using that for the oil. So, all right, here we go. That's some coat in the pan. Coat in the pan with some oil. And that's what I'm, that's the first thing I'm gonna do is coat the pan with some oil. As you see right here, here's the marinated chicken breast. I use chicken breast, I use um, the lean chicken breast. I have Julian, I cut them all up and everything and get them all marinated. I do this overnight uh, with the Szechuan sauce. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, you know, guys, let me know. But yeah, I get that marinated overnight. And um, I'm gonna throw that in the pan. I'm also having brown rice, another Kroger brand, natural whole grain brown rice boil in the bag. It's also microwavable, but we'll be um, boiling that on the stove. So that's what I'm using. And that's what I'm eating. Like I said, it's all about health. And that's what I'm doing. Put that in the pan. And I'm just gonna get that a little, just to give that a little stir. Now I wish you guys could, I wish it was smell a vision man. Cause you can already smell the flavors. I um, not only put, I not only put um, the marinade, on the chicken to season it with but but I um basically I put some other flavors you know some some garlic powder some um, black pepper um, a little bit a little bit of adobo not much just a little bit and um, a couple other secrets I have here so um, I'm just gonna turn up the heat a little bit here and I'm gonna go ahead and saute that up we'll be coming back in a second with the vegetables now one of the things that I do, you want to make sure when you're cooking chicken, you want to make sure you cook it thoroughly. So as you see here, I got the lid on this right here, and I'm letting this um, letting this steam a bit. So what my trick is, I let it steam a bit, try to get that chicken cooked as through as possible, because you can't play with um, um, chicken, you can't play with that. You have to make sure that cooks very, very through and get sick. So I'll let that cook for, for a few. And, keep the lid on it and uh, I'll be taking it off and I'll be adding the vegetables in a second okay now one thing I want to point out real quick when you're cooking when you're cooking any kind of chicken you want to make sure that you cook it thoroughly make sure that it's um, white um, and um, not pink inside and one of the tricks I use when I'm doing this kind of stir fry meal I'll cut the flame up a little bit well in this case I have electric <laughs> but I'll cut the heat up a little bit keep the lid on and as you see here the steam is hitting it real real nice just cook it through and it smells outstanding it's a wonderful 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 fragrance and I like my food a little bit spicy too so um, that saturated sauce be careful with the amount that you put in if you um, using it for yourself um, you adjust it to your taste but think about others if you're cooking meals for your family all right, so um, that's the deal. I'm gonna let that steam for a second, and I'll be right back. All right, now as you see here, chicken is not pink anymore. It's about to the texture that I need it to be. It's um, you can see it's uh, cooking through, and there's a little bit of liquid, but you want that little bit of liquid because you're about to add the vegetables and. You're gonna use this liquid, that flavor from that liquid, that um, from from the um, marinade, 
to uh, get to the vegetables a little. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and add on this, add on the vegetables. Oh yeah, you see the nice, beautiful color of the vegetables. That's what you want. You put the whole bag, the whole entire bag. You don't have to worry about putting too much. You want to put the whole bag of vegetables in your stir fry. And remember, you can never eat enough too many vegetables. So, um, <laughs> as far as the calories concerned, you don't have to worry. Now, I'm just gonna give that a rough little stir. After all, this is stir fry, right? <laughs> stir fry, stirring the vegetables. Okay. Oh, this smells great. And this is a very, very, very healthy dish. You have your protein, you have your vegetables, you have your complex carbs, you have everything you need all in one dish. Now, this isn't for one meal. This will be for, I'm gonna pack this up in small little containers and I'll be, um, using this for more than one meal. I'm just going to put the cover on this and uh, let this steam a little bit more. Let this cook down and then I'm going to raise the flame and I'm going to stir it up and I'm going to get it all to where I need it to be for me, for my taste, the way I like it. Alright? Alright, be back in a minute. As you see here, it's still cooking. Um, make sure that you taste the sauce too to make sure it has enough of what you need in it it's tasting the way you want it to taste if you need more add a little more um, one trick I don't put too much sodium but if you put salt salt you know too much adobo or whatever you put in there on your dish make sure that um, if it's too much you can just tr the, the trick to give some of the salt out of the food is just put more liquid more water and cook that out and it's going to take away some of that sodium all right all right see you in a minute Okay, real, real simple. Got the water boiling now. It's time to put in the brown rice. Brown rice in the bag. Just like it says on the front of the box, it's boiling in the bag. I just dip that in there for a minute. And um, this brown, this brown rice right here that's boiling in the bag, I'm gonna let that boil out for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, that rice will be done perfectly every time. Another thing for taste, guys. If you put the when you put the um, rice in the, in a pot when the water's boiling, make sure you before you do that, you put a little sea salt or a little bit of salt in the water. It's just going to give the rice a little bit of flavor. You don't want bland food. You want you want some flavor in your food. So don't go crazy with the salt. Just pinch yourself just to give the rice a little flavor. Let it boil out for 10 minutes, and then it's done. 10 minutes boiling the bag of rice. Let's every time. All right, we're back. Now, this stir fry is actually where I want it to be. I took the lid off. It's gonna be a little bit of steam here, um, but that's good steam. Now, one of the things that you wanna check out, you wanna make sure that your chicken is cooking through. We're cooking it down now. Um, you're gonna take one of your, the way that you check to make sure that your chicken is cooked through. See this right here? Get close up on that. You're gonna just go ahead and break that with a spoon. See how you broke that with a spoon right there? And you look, you can see there's no pink in the middle. I'm gonna do that with one more piece. Take this piece right here, a nice big chunk. Chop that. And um, look in the middle, and you can see no pink in the meat. That means it's cooked all the way through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my little stir fry magic. It would have been better if I used a wok, but I don't have one. So I'm just using the regular standard size frying pan. And uh, this this particular brand of frying frying pan I have it's um wolf wolf um wolf guy, um frying pan series. That's what I'm using. As you see here, let's go ahead and stir fry this out. It's already ready. And uh, this is this is pretty much it. Next, you'll just see me um, have my dish plated, and that'll be the completion of a healthy meal, or my healthy meal plan, all right? All right. We're back with my spicy um, Szechuan chicken and brown rice. Um, everything is plated. I'm just gonna wipe um, any, uh, any of that sauce off the plate right here. Just 
want to make sure everything is looking pretty good. You see the steam coming off because it's hot. <laughs> but this is the dish plated. This is it. So um, that's it for now. I'm eating healthy. I'm drinking my two uh, shakes. And I'm eating a healthy meal. One large meal right here. So it's two shakes and one large meal. And well really you can do five to six meals a day. But you know what? I decided to do five meals. So I'm having um, you know my shakes. I have some fruit and some vegetables in between. And for this meal, the big big meal, which is my big meal, I'm having stir fry with the brown rice. And that's it. That's it. That's all you need. It smells great. And I'm gonna dive into this and, um, and I'm out. Alright, thanks for watching guys.